how would one find their purpose in life through God? Mm. Okay. Um, that's a really good question. But like with everything we say in Musabat, we have to define and break down the words because the words are made up by spellings and the spell which we say, even though people, when you say spell, people will think about like casting a spell, right? Yeah. As in, you know, hocus pocus. Um, they might think of Harry Potter or something, do you know what I mean? But we break down that this is a way of entrapping people mentally mm -hmm. so they don't know where they're going in life and what is God, etc., etc. And it's done by way of spellings. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how, the, that's how the spell is casted. So people use words and like we always explain like the alphabet, mm -hmm. you know, people say the alpha, alpha, which kind of like the beginning and they'll go to alpha and omega, yeah? yeah? Which is like saying, they say the beginning, yeah? Which is again, another, when you say begin and you hear inning, you can pronounce that as beginning mm. as well, yeah? Because it's all, it's phonetics, words are phonetics and beginning, you could even say jin, you can go like that, right? Well, I'll come back to that, but the beginning and the end, mm. right? But, and then people will attribute this, the alpha, they'll say the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. And, and then they will say that is somebody or someone. Mm. Like some people might say, Jesus is who they're referring to when they say the alpha and the omega or the beginning and the end. But the thing is, is there an end? How do you know what the end is? If you ain't seen it. If you ain't seen it and you haven't reached there. The reason I say that because this all ties back into what we say. If you say the end or we go here and go nine to the ninth power of nine. Because if we say the beginning starts with zero, right, and goes to nine, 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 which if you're dealing with energy, there is no beginning or end mm. because you can't destroy energy, right? So we deal with nine ether. We always say that. And um, nine ether is the highest in every shape or form. Like if you're talking about numbers, if you're talking about, sorry, numbers, if you're talking about numbers, if you're talking about energy, if you're talking about gods, everything you're thinking about, there's got to be the highest. And then you have here where we use the word, look at that, G-O-D, as you said, you said, how do you find your purpose in God, yeah? You see the O again, because the O or the zero or the cipher is like you start and then you cycle. And then there's just, when you get to that bit, you just cycle again, you get to that. So there's cycles within cycles. So when we say the universe, we start with the universe, which is a beginning, and then it spirals outwards, yeah? And it expands. So, <clears throat> We have to define what God is because you're saying finding your purpose in God. Who or what is God? And when you look at that really deeply, you will start to see that you're looking at, you might not see it straight away, but you're looking at a circle and a square. Because look, if I did this, yeah, and I did that, the G, basically the G, yeah? You look at the G. Mm. What you're seeing is a circle and a square. If I just like, kind of like, make yeah. that. You see? Yeah. So, the significance of a circle and a square. Remember, the last time you asked me the question, we were like, a circle is 360 degrees. Mm. And a square 
it's 360 degrees as well, yeah? yeah? Because you have the 490 degree angles. And then you add the two of them together, and we said you get 720 degrees, yeah? yeah. Which is all the spiritual knowledge, all the physical knowledge add together gives you the 720 degree and the seven plus two, nine. it calls nine, right? So the highest number is the nine. So when you look at the word God, depending on what language you're getting that from, mm. will explain what that, that is. Because if you were talking about the Bible, because that's the first time you come across that word, this is translated from the Hebrew as Elohim. So when you say finding your purpose in God, the question is, which God or who are you calling God? Because the gods of the Bible have different purposes or they want to lead you in a particular direction or to do certain things to please them. So a lot of people's purpose is to serve these God. And I put the S there because remember I said at the, begin, at the beginning about the spellings because the word God is singular with the S is plural. Just like here, you've got the singular and you've got the, the plural. Mm. Now, the word God from different languages will mean different things. Mm. And it's actually from German, yeah, which is the word Gut. Or if you were looking at masonry, right, you would go to, they would say Goma, Oz, and the Bar, which are attributes of a person, which basically means wisdom, strength, and beauty from this German word. And that's what became God. Mm. Now, when you say German, right, so German, you can see two words, germ and man. So the germ man, which is a kind of man. All right. So your concept of what God is, is limiting because when you start to look at the Bible and the Quran and the religious books, mm. the God is limited because he doesn't know certain things. He's asking certain questions. He is not in control. He's doing things that one can consider to be wicked. Well, our concept of being a, a nine ether being, which is, like I said, nine being the highest number. Yeah. So we go from zero, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You're trying to be, the nine ether is dealing with being a supreme being. Mm. Yeah, a supreme being. Now, being a supreme being is not the same as just being a being or being a human, human being or being a human or being a man. And as I said, you can go to mammal or being a man is kind of being a mammal because you have the animal nature, but you can keep going down to being a beast. B E A, sorry, my spelling, being a beast, being a demon. And then we can go down to like ghouls and all kinds of wicked beings, yeah? yeah? And people reduce themselves to being, even when we said man, you can have a, a kind of a man where we say mankind, yeah? Mm -hmm. So we use all these words, we use these words, but they mean something. Even when you say human, you're actually taking two words, hate you and man, yeah. and who in ancient Egypt is a being of creative will. Right, so it's important to know what we're saying when we're saying what is the purpose. And to be a God is to learn how to be in control or being raising yourself. You may not be a demon, but there are people who are doing wicked things, killing, murders, etc., that are dealing with being demons or even being a beast. And when you're a mammal, you're just literally using your animal nature. Yeah, so it's about raising yourself all the way up 
to being the supreme being that you're supposed to be. Yeah. Not everybody can raise themselves up to being a supreme being. So your purpose in life is really to, to study, learn, and be able to become the best person that you can be. Yeah? Mm. Because a God is someone that is operating at their highest mental level. Mm. And so if we were to say, let me ask you a question. If this is a destination and you're here, like you say, you're trying to find your purpose, right? And you're going on this journey. What would you say? Would you say you're, it's already pre-planned for you to, to get there or are you in control of getting there? You're in control. You're in control. Yeah. Right, so when people say, like we were saying about the universe, yeah, yeah they say the universe provides for them. Mm. They're really saying, uni means one, yeah? They're really saying they provide for themselves. Provide for themselves. They're in control. But the thing is that religion, because this word, as I said, God comes from Genesis 1.1, 1, 1, yeah? Genesis 1 verse 1, when it says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And so religion tricks you because let's say this is the journey you're meant to be on to get to your destination. We say destiny. It makes you think someone's going to help you get there. It makes you think that some, they'll tell you that this God is responsible for you getting there. But then because you have different ways of getting to the destination, so if you went like, like this to get there, most people do. Right. Or you may never get there if, let's say this is the direct path, but someone runs ahead of you and changes the route here, mm. or even here, or they set traps for you to take you on a different <laughs> direction. Yeah. It hinders your purpose. Right? So the point is that along the way, this God and these books and these beliefs have been put in place that they can trick you, but you don't realize it. So they will say things like, have faith. Yeah? Let's say faith is one of those, those, those obstacles, which takes you on a different direction because... To have faith is different to having fate. Do you know the difference? Um, I'm going to say no. So one, you make happen because yeah. you're in control. And this one is somebody else telling you that you should do this or you should do that. Like in religion, yeah? Probably enough, I feel like the mindset that comes to my mind and I feel like most people have, when someone says you're leaving it up to fate, it's just up in the air, it can happen. Yeah, it's but just up in the air. Faith that something might happen, you're, I don't know, putting your energy into that. Right, so they will mess with your mental mm. because like, if I said what's the quickest way from one place to another, what, would you say? What have you been taught? Just to have faith. A straight line. That's yeah, what they say, isn't it? Jump straight up. Like, right, they will say a straight line is quicker to get from here to here than to do this and go like this to get to here. But... It's not realistic. It's not realistic because the quickest way from t between two points, this point and this point, if you know how, is to bend time. Like, so if you had a straight line, you could bend this end to meet this end. So that means that the, the, the distance will be short. You get it? Like, if I had two points on a piece of paper, if I bent them, they will meet up quicker than... Right, so the delay in your life, because if the destiny or the destination, right, because your purpose is to do what? Like you say, going back to the original question, to fulfil what your 
your purpose is to fulfill your destiny or why you've come here or what, what you're doing here. But if someone steps along the way to stop you reaching that, then they might trick you here to go down a different route and bring you right, right back to here. So you will never get there because you keep getting tricked along the way. So your purpose is not to, because faith deals with believing, as we said over there, yeah? Yeah. to believe. You're believing in God, you're believing in books, you're believing in what somebody else is telling you, when really what you need to do is to know. Because when you know, you have knowledge that helps you to make the right decisions, to not be tricked along the way, to get to your destination. So knowledge, everyone says, is power. Knowledge is power, or knowledge is key, yeah? But knowledge is only power if you know what to do with it or how to use it. So you've got to navigate yeah, this route. And like you were saying, some people say, oh, the universe, I don't need to do anything because the universe is going to take care of me. Yeah. But like I said, the word uni means one, which is really dealing with you yourself. Because you have to start from yourself, that first point, to then grow. And the more knowledge you learn, and your mentality, yeah, your mentality will govern how you think. Mm. Most people don't think for themselves because they're being influenced by all these other distractions, you know, social media um, and these various distractions along the way. So as a spiritual being, because when you're looking at yourself here, you're probably just thinking about the physical, but the physical might be, how do I get money? How do I survive? How do I, how do I navigate this journey called life? Yeah, so that I can get to the destination. But if, if you're not in control and people are telling you to believe, which is really giving you a lot of lies, telling you to have faith, yeah, controlling your mentality, how you think, which can lead to you not eating properly, for example. Because if you're being taught the wrong foods, right, the bad diets, look at the word, diet, which kills you, right, instead of eating the right things, then you get sick. So, for example, if you don't understand, if you don't understand your body, the chemistry, the, you know, the biology of your body, mm. then you're going to put the wrong food in your body. That's going to make you sick. And then you're going to go to the hospitals, to people who are just giving you the wrong information and poisons. Yeah, so your whole purpose in life is to know. Mm. And even when you go back to the, the books of the Bible and the, you know, the religious world, they say that when they were told not to eat the fruit and they ate the fruit, their eyes became open, yeah, which was to know good from evil. Mm. So you need to know good from evil or, or good from bad. You need to know on your journey of life and your purpose, what is for you to do and what is for you not to do. This is where you have the two sides of where we say nine ether, yeah, nine ether in Wusabat helps you to know where you're going and what you're supposed to be doing. And once you start to break away from the side of the six ether, then no one's governing or controlling you or tricking you or putting you on this road to failure, meaning that when you cross over, because another thing they say is when you die, you're going to go to heaven. And no one has come to prove where this place called heaven is. But the reality is you're recycling your soul to the point where you never make it back to your destination because the beings that are teaching you all this side of things, which are these... ETs, right, the ETs put this word, yeah, remember you're talking about getting to your destination, they put this word, your plan, your plans. <laughs> That's it. I've got a question, yeah. Okay, well, let me just finish this, yeah, plan ET, yeah. and they say, plan it, 
That's funny, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> On this planet, wild, the ETs are controlling you because they feed off of your energy. Mm -hmm. So your purpose is to just keep coming back recycling. over and recycling and you keep feeding them your energy. Mm -hmm. So you never make it back to where you're supposed to go to, which is a, another whole big story. And that's what Wu Sabat is here to teach you, mm -hmm. to know your purpose. And then you start to be in control as you being the God, control of your own universe, making the right decisions so that you're putting the right fuel into your body, mm. which you call food, because a lot of people don't even know like what to eat, how to sleep, you know, basic things that just lead you to be lost in a cycle. Mm. Sorry, you said you had a question. Yeah, so my question is, mm -hmm. you know, you just said about the recycling. Yeah. Can you just explain that more? Okay. Yeah, definitely. So, as I was saying at the beginning that you don't, you can't destroy energy. Mm. Yeah. Um, so you're composed of different parts. I'll just make this drawing. Right. So there's different parts to you. And what governs that is... You have something called what people will say an aura around you, yeah? yeah, and that's your energy field, mm. and the energy field governs or feeds the real you, the real being, not the physical you. The physical you is just like bacteria that houses the real you, the soul, the spirit. Mm. So when I say recycling, meaning that your soul's journey is to return to this destination, which we say is pa. Again, the language is important. That's why we have to use certain terms, pa, pa, ut, which is in our language translated as the all expanding. Do you guys have another word for aura? Yeah. Happy, there's different words for it. Yeah. They're all expanding. But to keep it simple, mm. expanding. To keep it simple, just say it's energy, yeah. which ultimately is nine ether, because nine ether is the combination of all existing gases, um, conscience and conscious gases, which are what slow down mm. to come to the physical world, because again, you got like nine levels. Did I draw? Yeah. yeah, these nine levels going from. Here upwards, you're dealing with the higher the vibration, the, the, when you start to, like the lower the vibration, you're slowing down to becoming more dense. Mm. And the higher the vibration, you're more light or more energy, right? So when we're saying that you're being recycled, we're not talking about just your physical, because your physical gets recycled on the ground anyway, because mm. you go back to the dust of the ground but your essence or your soul goes up to being, to coming back to being a part of the all expanding. Mm. But when you first leave, this is why we explain all the master teacher of the Bab Janun teaches us that, teaches us that you have 24 to 24,000 cycles to get it right. 24 to 24,000 mm. cycles to get it right so that you can go back and not come back. And if you don't? If you don't, you just keep coming back and doing this recycling because- After 24,000 times, what would happen? If you oh, if you don't make it, yeah. you cease to be able to make, because it's like there are different existences mm. on the nine different planes or realms, yeah? yeah? So when you leave here, you have the opportunity to go to another realm and exist there in that form. Mm. So, um, there's, a, there's a, a plane of force above the physical plane. Mm. So you've got the physical plane, you've got the plane of force, you've got the spiritual plane, you've got the mental plane, you've got the soul plane, and it goes all the way to the nine ether. And you can um, have a, a different experience, just like the one you're having now in this physical world. You can go into that other realm, like the spiritual realm, and have that. The thing is, you're connected to all of them at the same time. Mm but you're here to master the lower planes. You can only master it by being here, by being in the physical. Yeah. So once you master that, 
This is why you can lose your physical body, as in what people are calling death, mm. but continue on or come back again and do the recycling. If you continue on, mm. you can then go and live as though mental beings, because they're beings that are just pure mental. And when you're a mental, pure mental being, you're just dealing with everything you think mentally, you can bring down to the lower realms, you see? So mm. in order to avoid, that's why people say you have to first think of something, then you manifest it yeah. in the physical world. Whatever you put in your mind, you can actually manifest. Absolutely. But you have to be taught that science because it's not just I think of it. There's a level of thinking of it and concentrating. And this is where meditation, concentration, all these things come in because mm. it's about focusing on that, you know, thing you want to manifest. But it's not just down to you, it's the universe and the other realms and other, other beings on the different realms that work with you that think, okay, that thought you're having, is it going to be of beneficial to just you or to humanity? Mm. Or, do you know what I mean? Some people are just selfish, so they won't get them. I say, I want this, and they don't get it. Mm. And they wonder why I don't get it, because your thoughts are not really pure. They're about you being me, myself, and I. So there's a lot to it. It's not just, I think of something and then it just manifests. Even though when you are thinking correctly, that, that is possible to happen. Mm -hmm. So yes, yeah, it's, it's about breaking this cycle of not progressing as a being that's going to rise up to, like I said, becoming a, a supreme being or a nine E for being. And a lot of people have been sent off on the wrong direction. And in the Bible, they say the devil is the one doing this. Mm -hmm. And the devil will give you like they say, make evil fear seeming. So you don't think there's anything wrong with what you're doing because it's subtle. Mm. And when things are subtle, um, you go, oh, it won't hurt me, it won't harm me. But over a long period of time, it does. Mm. And you can look at many examples where you're dealing with people doing something and it becomes a habit. And that habit creates in your brain what we call neural pathways, right? Meaning that, you, you create these grooves that it's like if you have, um, you know, like if you're going like in different direction, you can create these, these pathways because you have like, you've got different um, neurons mm. that are communicating by these pathways, yeah, called, you know, synapses. And so the, what you're putting into your head or your mind governs how you operate and how you think. So you wouldn't put sand into like your petrol tank because the fuel that your car will need, it's got to be what will make it function better. Yeah. And the fuel that you need to fulfill your purpose, and the, the, obviously we're talking about your purpose on the physical realm, your purpose on the spiritual realm, mm. your purpose on the mental realm, all the way back to being these supreme nine ether beings are beings that they basically have more use of their brain. Mm. Um, they're able to govern the universe, govern the galaxies, govern, do you know what I mean? Different parts of the cosmos. And like Yanun, um, he's, been, he's been assigned and sent here to come and teach us, mm. to raise us up so we can remember who we are as being those supreme beings. And then we have to then teach the rest. And that's done by way of Wu Sabat. And Wu Sabat, I, I keep telling people, and the master teacher has taught us, mm. Wu Sabat is the future. Because the old ways have expired yeah. and they're dying. And so anyone who's telling you to follow a religion or follow a God or follow things that they can't prove, can't give you any facts, are leading you on the wrong path and you will never know what your your purpose is question i did have yeah just back to the um nine realms that yeah people are on what is it that people mean when they say they're stuck in the belly of the beast okay Talking about just the nine realms that we have yeah yeah that's stuck in the belly of the beast in fact as i i keep explaining we put that all that in the book yeah it's in our book we give you like the different realms and break them down, yeah? Mm. But the one you're talking about is one realm. That's the bottom realm. Mm. This, this, the physical realm. 
the physical realm is where the beast, as you call it, being stuck in the belly of the beast. The belly of the beast is talking about the system that controls people on this, basically on this the physical matrix. realm, the matrix, yeah. yeah. And even like the books, like in the book of Revelation, they're talking about you shouldn't have the mark of the beast, yeah. the mark. And when you say mark, you're dealing with genetic markers. Mm. But they say the number of the beast is 666. Yeah. And, and um, as we keep saying, 666 is adverse to 999. Mm. Right? So they, the 6E for 6 is the, the way they utilize the physical world to trick you on your path. Mm. Yeah, so really, whoever is that beast, and there was actually a computer called IBM 366. I think I explained that before, which is when you look at the world you're living in now, it's being run by artificial intelligence, yeah. it's being run by computers. Like the internet, this is what they use to trap you. So again, uh, let me use uh, here. So the internet is referred to as, I'm going to draw, this is, a, let's say, a web, yeah? Mm. They call it the World Wide Web. web because the web is used to basically trap you. Not very good drawing, but you get the idea, yeah? yeah? If I do one more, it might make it a little bit better. Right, so the World Wide Web, or they say WWW, right? Yeah. When you look at that WWW, it actually breaks down into 666 as well, because you might not see it, but it's like a VI and a VI and the VI, uh, yeah. which is Roman numerals for 666. 666. But the World Wide Web is how people are getting trapped because these days you turn on your device, your mobile phone or your computer or whatever, mm. and you're on the web. What does, who uses a web? Spiders. Spiders, right. So what does a spider use the web to do? Trap insects. Trapped its prey, mm. right? I'm running out of space. It's prey. Remember that, yeah? Prey. And then <coughs> this side, the six ether side, mm. tells you to pray. Yeah? yeah? You pray to God, but you're not realizing that you're being the prey. Mm. And they use, why I say the web is because all the suggestions and everything, like you go online, it's like pornography, it's like buy this, buy that do this, get plastic surgery, and all of that just traps you, mm. and you become prey for these extraterrestrial beings that have an extraterrestrial plan. Mm. Their plan on this planet is to keep you on this cycle yeah. because they need to feed off of your energy, mm. and they want you to be a slave because being a slave means that you don't use your own mind, so you don't think, but you're programmed. You're programmed to behave. Yeah, you're programmed to behave in a particular way that suits their purpose. So your purpose gets lost because you don't realize it, but they have a purpose for you. Mm. And the purpose is to keep you enslaved, to keep you in the cycle so you can be a prey. They can keep feeding off of your energy until you wake up and you're like, I no longer believe, I want to know. Mm. I don't have faith. I deal with fate, which deals with natural nature, how things happen naturally. Mm. I want to use my own mentality so I can use my own mind to mm. think. I now know that as a being, I need to put the right fuel in my body so that I don't die through a diet. So you start to look at nutrition or getting things that um, are healthy, basically. Yeah. H H E health. And this is going back to your purpose, right? Health is wealth. Mm. Because um, if you're not healthy, doesn't matter how much wealth you have, you're going to leave it behind. Yeah. So then you start to govern what you do online, start to know what life is about. And then you avoid going to the hospitals where they're only going to be hospitable to you. They're not going to give you the cure. 
So you can now see that from your original question, mm. if you remember the way you phrased it, you said, what is God? What is my purpose and how can God help me find yeah. it? Yeah, what's your purpose? How can God help you find it? Well, these gods that you're reading in the Bible and so forth are not going to help you. Mm. And it's a matter of knowing who the right gods are and which are the wrong gods. And people are following the wrong gods because they don't understand that the God of the Bible and the God of the Quran are not these good, do you know what I mean? Like beings that the way you think they are. But of course, if you're starting out and you don't know and you're just believing, you might have a sincere heart and your sincere heart and the reasons of you being wanting to know the truth because ultimately it's the truth. Um, this side deals with truth mm. and this side, like I said, deals with lies or belief. That's because of the word right there, lies. The Bible and the Quran are both following the wrong God. What would be the right God? Wu Sabat. Okay. Because Wu Sabat teaches you about who your ancestors are, mm. who these supreme beings are. Because when you go into studying, like each religion has a spiritual side to it. Yeah. And the spiritual side is not about people, places and things. It's not about racism. It's not about colours. Because you have many beings that have elevated where they call them the 24 elders, for example. Mm. Those 24 elders are your 24 beings that have reached a very high level. And they all work together. And they, they, they send, like, you know, um, collectively, they send beings to come here to guide people. Mm. But everyone that comes, as soon as they leave, people change it into something else. Yeah. So what Jesus came, if we're following that story, to teach was about love each other, treat your neighbor the same way you would like to be treated, etc., etc. Muhammad would have taught the same thing. All the prophets and all the, the righteous people came to teach one thing, which is how you would get from here to there and how you should treat people and how you should live for your purpose mm -hmm. so your purpose you have your purpose but there's also a collective purpose yeah. this is why we say humanity because you could be doing everything you can but in terms of humanity it, no matter how good what you're doing if the rest of humanity are doing the wrong thing you're going to be caught up in that mm -hmm. so it's about educating the minds and the people on the planet to raise their consciousness so we can all collectively go using war as religious war, fight against each other, is not good. Poisoning the animals and the water and the planet is not good for all of us. Mm. Do you see what I mean? So it's about once you're mentally aware, no matter who you are, you transcend acting like a demon, acting like a beast, doing the things that are harming everyone on the planet. So we poison the water and then we sell a bottle of water. Do you know what I mean? We kill all the animals to eat, but that's not their purpose. You know, we're not designed to eat the animals. And so these extraterrestrials that they're designed, they're like, depending on which one we're talking about, like the reptilians and the draconians, they, they eat me. They like to feed off of that energy. So they're going to teach you to eat me. You know, so everyone is getting trapped by following the God that governs how they program and how they think and how they behave. Mm. So you see people on the planet, they will all behave the way that the gods that they worship behave. Mm. You see, so it's really about collectively as Sabians, we would basically be, be able to like change the world by way of our behavior, by way of how we live our lives. By example. Yeah, and that's your purpose is part to help, to be a part of that change that we're living in now, to be a part of, you're meant to be a teacher. Once you know the information, you teach others. And then we say that each one teach one. Mm -hmm. And by teaching the right knowledge, the right understanding gives you power and applying that knowledge gives you power so that your fate is sealed. You know where you're going. It's, it's, you know what I mean? It's like, like you say, a lot of religious people, I had a conversation today and they tell you to believe. They're always telling you you need to believe. Mm. And you say, why do I need to believe if I know? 
people say I'm a truth seeker. Mm. Like, that means you're seeking the truth. But I'm like, why am I going to seek the truth if I already have it? And you're going to say, how do you know I have it? Well, ask us anything. Test us to see whether or not what we're saying makes sense. Mm. Because truth is truth. Truth has no allegiance to anything but itself. So that's why we say, if it's true and you can handle the truth, we're good. We can work together. But if you're telling me to believe, and I'm telling you, you're telling me to believe a lie, and I'm saying, I can't deal with lies. I want to deal with truth. I want to know. Then we're going to have a bit of a clash because I'm going to be like, I don't mind you believing, but don't try and get me to believe because... I was there. I was believing until I got to know. Mm. And the minute I started to know things, things started to make sense and my life started to change because I now know that this is not how you should behave. I know that this is what I should eat and what I shouldn't eat. Do you know what I mean? I know that these tricks, these traps are set along the way to take me off. So then you navigate through all of that. And what I do as well is... Because we can teach information and break down the right knowledge, the right wisdom and the right understanding. But there are people that have personal things they want to talk about. Like what's happening in their life? How is this information changing them? So when I do the one-to-one -one consultations, it's where I deal with people on the private, on their, their actual experiences of things they're going through. Like how they're transforming. How do they deal with things like astral projection? How do they deal with the experiences that they're having that... They can't go to a religious person and tell or speak about it because they'll be like, you're crazy. When you start to talk about these extraterrestrials and certain things, some people... Yeah, they'll tell ah, you to get exercise. Yeah, so. they're having actual real life experiences. Yeah. So if it's on a personal level, that's not something you want to share maybe in a forum with everyone. Mm. So that's why, you know, and many people that we've spoken to, you see how we have helped them and it has transformed them doing the, you know, the one-to-ones. But yeah, that's more if you want to deal with more personal stuff. Because sometimes in a forum, it can sound crazy where people are like, you know, I traveled here and this happened to me and how, how do I do this? And, and everyone else is thinking like, yeah. like you say, you might, you might not be all there. But the reality is these things do, do exist and are happening on a spiritual level that, um, yeah, Wusabat basically helps you to know your purpose. And if you don't, like I said, with religion, you can just keep going around in circles because it can take you a whole lifetime to learn about being a Christian. Yeah. And most people don't study because when I ask questions, you know, like you say you're a Christian, what does it mean? What does this mean? What does that mean? A lot of the times they don't know because they've just accepted and believed it. No, it's following suit. Yeah, I'm just following. And the same with, you know, Islam, like you can ask somebody, what does this mean? And they just give you the, the belief or the programming that they've been given growing up. Mm. So I hope that's answered that question for Very you. Very much so. Yeah. But yeah, feel free to ask us anything. Um, remember, oh, like, share and subscribe on OS and Vision because that's what we're doing, reaching the world. So read the comments. You see that people are letting Wu Sabat work for them in their life. You always get the odd one or two people that will say something that completely goes against what we're saying. Mm. But because they're looking for other people to follow them, they'll be like, you said this and I never said that. Or they'll be like, oh, you're, you're, you know, you're bringing these white people on our platform and you're going to start changing what you're saying. I'm like, no, I'm not. We never, Wusabat doesn't change because it's given to us by a master teacher. Mm. And, and he's a master teacher because nobody teaches like him. And therefore, whatever he's teaching me, anyone else who f subscribes to that, they're going to teach the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's very rare you're going to not hear what I've broken down being taught by another, you know what I mean, Noir, who, or Noirpian teacher because a fact is a fact and the truth is the truth. Yeah. But yeah, I thank you for your question. Oh, and, um, you know, hope, you for your time. Yeah, no problem. Rahul Bhatt or greetings, I'm Saken from Ask Us Anything, where we like to have great conversations, dialogue and reason, um, you know, each one teach one. So if 
you're someone who would like to come and have these conversations, um, send us a video asking three questions so we can get a feel for what, um, you know, what you want to talk about. And, you know, we're in Croydon, Nashat, 101 Church Street. Um, and we've had great conversations with different people discussing all kinds of topics. And we'll be really, you know, looking forward to speaking to anyone who wants to come and have a one-to-one -one, um, and have a, yeah, and have a conversation about anything. So, yes, if you would like to do that, the link is below. Send us a video um, with yourself asking me or us three questions and then we will get back in touch.